okay? Everybody, put one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. This is how you're actually going to teach your patients how to breathe well, okay? So the patient sits in an upright chair. By the way, this is all thanks to Leon Shaitao, uh, osteopath and naturopath. He's like a breathing guru. Uh, one hand is on the chest, one hand on, is on the belly. This is how I make a point in my office. I have them do soft breathing like you are probably doing right now. Start to notice if your belly is moving. Start to notice if your chest is moving. Chest should not be moving. Chest should not be moving. Sometimes I'll even have them take deep breaths. They go like this. And I go, can you do that again, but without moving your chest at all? And then they go. And I say, well, let me ask you a question, women in Aventura. Are you sucking your stomach in? And they go, mm, no. What happens is with anxiety or sucking your stomach in, you actually inhibit and decondition your poor diaphragm. So I have to explain to them, people who suck their stomach in all the time, when your belly moves out, it's not fat. It's your muscular diaphragm pushing your stomach and intestines out of the way to make more space for your lungs to expand. Close capsule here, right? So when the belly is moving in and out, that's just your stomach and guts and stuff. There might be a, a layer of fat on top of it, but the belly moving out, that's an okay thing. Belly sucked in, chest moving all over the place, that's a bad thing. And so from there, proliferates, like I said, anxiety, linked type breathing, small sips of air, 